so let's do the GPS compass calibration. Turn on the radio first time when you fly. Here you have a T connector. This one will power motors. So if you're doing something uh, like programming the uh, flight controller, do not connect the motor powers. Just connect the battery directly to this T and you will be able to turn, uh, turn the power on to the flight controller only and configure it via computer. So now we are going to do compost calibration, no problems. I will connect the motors, making sure radio is on, throttle is zero. I'll connect the power and wait. It is always a good idea to keep clear from the propellers. So if you have read the WCAM user manual, you should read and clearly understand how the WCAM communicates with you using the different colors LEDs. So in the beginning when you turn it on, the LED should be blinking three times in red. This means no satellites found. Once the LED has, uh, remember, once the radio is on a manual mode, okay, and LED has no lights at all, completely off, you can do GPS compass calibration because that means it has found all the satellites. To do the compass calibration, flip the switch E up and down a number of times until your LED is on in blue, constant. So here we go. And it's on, solid blue, you can see, all right? Now, horizontal calibration. Carefully pick, keep it carefully horizontal and rotate right clockwise until your LED change color to green. Once it's green, head to the ground and rotate 360 degree until the LED turns to white. Okay? That's it. Your compass calibration is done. Turn, take the power off. Wait for 5-10 seconds. Safe to be on the safe side. Actually, you can fly it, but it's to be on the safe side. Turn on the radio. Turn on the power. Wait. Make sure all the satellites have been found. Once again, read the user manual. If you have all the satellites, you can actually take off and test all the flight modes. You can even take off in GPS position hold mode.